Welcome to another video. Today we'll be showing you how you can get the dual core GDB debugging working on the Portenta H7 board for both cores at the same time through the Sega J-Link. You will need the breakout board for the Portenta to access the SWD debugging pins and you will also need an adapter to adapt the small MIPS connector to your normal J-Link pins. The wiring diagram for connecting the Portenta breakout board to the J-Link is shown here and on the information page on our website. And we already had some connectors of the right size, so we just made our own wiring connection loom. So first we're going to need to connect our J-Link to our PC and load the Zdig driver tool so that we can replace the standard J-Link driver with the Win USB one. So if we load Zdig and click Options and then list all devices, we will then see the J-Link is available for selection and we can see the driver needs to be replaced. So simply click Replace Driver and this can take a few minutes in some cases. So first we're going to need to load our M7 core sketch in Visual Micro and select our H7 M7 core board from the Portenta boards package. And we're going to need to select the debug hardware option and ensure you select the Sega J-Link, but not the no open OCD version. And links will be shown in the output to take you to our documentation page. Also, don't forget to add the boot M4 core into your sketch so that the M4 core will start up once the M7 core has booted. Now we can double tap the upload button and then build and upload our code as normal. And once that's done, we should have the red LED flashing on our board. Now we're need, going to need to open up our second sketch for the M4 core. So we've named our projects accordingly, which is just going to flash the blue LED. So we've kept this very simple. And of course, you're going to need to select the M4 core board and debug hardware. And this time, the no open OCD version of the Sega J-Link, as they're going to share one version of the application in the background. Then we can double tap our upload button on the board as normal and build and upload to the M4 core. Once that's completed, you should see both the red and blue LEDs flashing at slightly different times because of the boot time. And we can now just go debug attach to process on the M7 core first. And this will launch the debugging session and start open OCD in the background. And of course, we can move our breakpoints as needed. We can then go over to the M4 project and go debug attach to process. And this will then attach the M4 call to the debugger as well. So we can now debug both calls at the same time and stop and continue them independently of each other, which could be very useful if you are trying to work out why one core is acting differently, or if you find there's an issue with some communication between the cores themselves. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please do check out the other videos on our channel and let us know in the comments if there's any more information needed.